excellence online subscribe to our channel now for more educational videos and press the bell icon for more updates assalamu alaikum this is daniel husain zubairi and today i am again here with the from the platform of excellence online as far as our previous videos are concerned they are uh, related to the numericals of chapter 3 so continuing the same topic it says third question a helicopter is ascending at a rate of 12 meters per second first thing is given at a height of 80 meters above the ground a package is dropped how long does the package take to reach the ground this question though it sounds really easy but there is a technical aspect it says let's say there is a helicopter that is ascending at a rate of 12 meters per second so consider this students let's say this is your helicopter kind of an object that flies this object helicopter carries something and this helicopter is ascending at a rate of 12 meters per second that means there are two uh, related informations given first is it is say uh, it is saying that it is moving upwards first thing the other thing is at a certain height at 80 meters above the ground what happens this helicopter drops this package so we need to consider this what happens after dropping this package see what we need to link is how long does the package take to reach the ground we are no more concerned about this helicopter then we are only concerned about the time it takes for this package to come back to the ground so we need to understand the conceptual information given it says there is a helicopter that brings up this package after reaching 80 meters it drops the package and we need to calculate time in which that top uh, that uh, box or package strikes the ground so the idea behind it is see as far as helicopter is carrying this package since helicopter goes up this package goes up that means for upward motion of the package this needs to be really clear that my i am in only considering only bothered about this package so what we can say is initial velocity is 12 meters per second since it is going upward so by the definition of upward, upward motion acceleration equals negative g final velocity must be zero so my package as soon as being left from the helicopter goes up there are many students who find it difficult to understand that why this package after being fallen off from the helicopter goes up rather being going down see the idea behind it is if you are saying that your helicopter is carrying something so your helicopter is carrying something it is carrying something it is carrying something and it drops that thing so the idea is due to some inertia it follows a certain trajectory up then it comes down it may happen if that helicopter was stationary and it drops the package so it comes directly down but question never says that it is stationary it is moving up that means helicopter carries that object up helicopter drops it up it goes up and it comes down so we are working with that scenario that after being released from the helicopter my package goes first up then down so complete motion would be something like this so i first need to work out the time it takes for the package to reach the maximum height then i need to work out the time this package takes to come down then i need to work out the total time so focusing on how do we calculate time so we have given i have given a vi acceleration and final velocity i guess t in this case would be t1 this is required so using first equation of motion it says t is equals to vf minus vi over a so i can write easily t is equals to vf which is 0 minus 12 over acceleration can be either taken as minus 9.8 or minus 10 so you get your t1 in seconds keep this thing in your mind students that this t1 is only 
टाइम दैट पैकेज टेक्स टू रीच द अपवर्ड मैक्सिमम हाइट नाउ एज सुन एज इट गोज अप इट ऑब्वियसली कवर सम हाइट सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट दैट हाइट लेट से दैट हाइट इज एच तो वॉट आई कैन डू नाउ इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आई दर आई गेस वी कैन यूज सेकेंड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन एज वेल एंड थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन एज वेल सो इट इज कम्प्लीटली अप टू यू सो यूजिंग एच इज इक्वल्स टू वी एफ स्क्वायर माइनस वी आई स्क्वायर ओवर टू ए सो फाइनल वेलॉसिटी जीरो इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी ट्वेल्व टू इंटू माइनस नाइन पॉइंट एट यू गेट यूर हाइट इन देन नाउ यू नो हाउ मच the package has been risen this is given by height h this distance is already 80 meters since the package that has been released from the helicopter is released at 80 meters it goes up then it goes down so we we now know h we now know 80 meters and my, uh, my package is now about to fall so the second hidden concept in this question is now to be opened that for its downward motion so when you say for downward motion what we need to keep in mind is acceleration is always positive and initial velocity is zero i am so far given with uh, height also height would be what we have calculated so far and the height from the helicopter that was 80 meters that means for total distance i can work out s down equal 80 Plus whatever your height h was. So s down is equals to 80 plus this height. This will give you the total distance downwards. Then knowing distance, knowing v i, knowing g. So calculating time. So calculating time for uh, total displacement downwards. Let's say that time for downward displacement is t two. So knowing acceleration v i total distance. I can use second equation of motion that it still says s t is equals to v i t plus half a t square. So this would be now t two. So you know s t, you know v i. It was zero. T two as it is half acceleration is nine point eight. T two square is no. Now required to so t two can be calculated. Okay. Now the only thing left is you know t two that was the time. For that package to come down, T1, time to go up. Question says, how long does the package take to reach the ground? That means you need to work out the complete time. So what we are going to do is basically we are going to find the total time. Total time can be T is equals to T1 plus T2. So you know T2, you know T1, and you get your final answer.